One nickel, one slot, and it's 1939. Bill Jackson was a poor old dub who joined the Darktown Poker Club, but he cursed that they told him he would join. His money used to go like it had wings. If he held queens, someone had kings. Each night he would contribute all his coins. It can be any record and any time you want, because from the early 1930s on, Wurlitzer jukeboxes played the hits in roadside bars, after-hours joints, then malt shops and restaurants. Anywhere anybody had the inclination to put another nickel in and dance, or just hang around. Now the Wurlitzer people say that after putting 650,000 of the nostalgia machines into operation over the past 40 years, it will stop producing them in this country. That still leaves three other companies to fill the gap, but the demand for the jukebox apparently is narrowing. Bill Worthy's been in the jukebox business since 1937, and he still sells the new fancy models that play 200 records, but his favorites are the big old models that play just 12 or 24 78 RPM discs. He's got 74 of those in his downtown store. The big old models with their gaudy and sometimes obnoxious designs on the outside simply drip nostalgia, and Wurlitzer is at least going out of business in a big way. They're selling new versions of the old, complete with peacocks and colored lights. I'm Kathy Clark, TV8 Action News, with a blast from the past, downtown. <laughs>